afternoon. Uh, welcome to Plus Two. Uh, you're very welcome. Please follow me. Plus Two is a 135 foot high speed um, motor yacht, 2007, uh, 2009 construction. And I think you'll agree she's a, she's a beautiful yacht, comfortable to be on, and a very good seaboat. This is the art deck. Uh, this is our main eating outside eating area. Table is set for up to 10 guests. We also have a very nice, comfortable lounging area here for sitting out. Uh, well, this can be covered by Bimini. Uh, and after that, we have a nice sunbathing area there with easy access down to the swim platform um, for when we're at anchor for swimming. And here we have the sun deck with some generous sunbathing areas. Uh, jacuzzi right here. For refreshments while you're on deck, we have a refrigerator here and an ice machine there. While we're here, have a look forward and you can see to give you an idea of the shape of the vessel and there's a sunbathing area forward there which we'll go and have a look at now. Here we have a spacious four deck sunbathing area. Very nice place to be when we're sat at anchor with a little breeze coming across the bell. Uh, there's a seating area, an area which, we, which could be turned into a coffee table and a, an area for laying out and taking some rice. Plus two is equipped with two, two anchors, one port, one starboard, both with four shackles. Uh, for, for good, strong holding and uh, ease of uh, anchoring. Okay, allow me now to show you where we store our tender. Okay, there is a four meter uh, jet drive all-purpose tender an inboard diesel engine, uh, lifting crane, uh, taking it from its place over the side and launching. Each side of the bridge I have a control panel uh, for, uh, for docking the vessel. Let me show you how it works. I have all my controls necessary for, for docking the vessel in, in tight spaces. Uh, I have a good vision aft and everything I need is here. Okay, let's continue aft. This is our side boarding arrangement door. We have a ladder which clips on here for when we are alongside and this door opens up to allow access onto the side deck. And Along the aft here, we have the engine room entrance. Let me just show you inside there. This is the main entrance into the engine room, as well as being our deck equipment store. to visit the interior, please come this way. Okay, here in the bar area we have um, two fridges, one hidden away under this panel, just there. Another one underneath the, the surface here. The design theme for the vessel is beach house uh, and as you can see nice use of clear coloured woods, light coloured woods and nice neutral fabrics. Here we have the dining area, again set up for 10 people to sit comfortably around the table. Over the far side there you'll see we have some hot plates, ideal if you'd like to have buffets. All 
through this area we have um, good quantity of storage for glassware and in here flatware, cutlery and all the service utensils. And forward from here we have the bridge. The navigation area, our radar, chart plotter, all the information we need for our for a safe passage, alarms, my control area here, and the chart table with some nice seating for anybody who likes to get up forward and see what's what is happening underway. Uh, this is a very nice area to have a have a coffee or a drink and have a chat with the crew. Here I'm able to control um, every aspect of the vessel. I have my throttles here, my bow thruster. Rudder control, autopilot, and over here controls for, for radar, searchlights, and even on the chair here I can manoeuvre my um, cursor on my chart plotter. And of course, a, uh, a yacht wouldn't be yacht without a steering wheel, and here's ours right here. Now let's go down to the crew accommodation area. We have the crew mess and laundry area, two professional washers, two professional dryers, very important on the vessel. And this side the galley, fridges, freezers, storage area, hot plate and the oven there. Again another very important part of the vessel. Forward here is uh, four crew cabins, accommodating a total of seven crew. Now that I've shown you the bridge, let's come and look at the sleeping quarters. We have five nice guest cabins. Let's come and see them. Here we have a very spacious master cabin, which is full beam, that is to say 8.4 meters across. And as you can see, she affords a, a lot of room for a vessel of this size. Here we have a dressing room and a bathroom. And we have another one the same on the other side. So we have two of each. We have four more cabins forward, uh, two twin and two double. Come this way and see. These are the two doubles, both with um, ensuite bathrooms and showers. And here are the two twins. Both of these cabins have Pullman bunks for children, um, so they can effectively sleep three in each.